So today what we're looking at is a little tube and this particular one has a little over 50 yellow jacket wasps in it. And what's going on is out in the apiary this time of year. We're on October 1st and the temperatures have dropped down into the 30s overnight. And what happens is these yellow jackets can get out before the honeybees do and they start their raids early in the morning. So we start to think about methods for trapping and collecting them. And if you look in the background here, it says bugzooka. And the bugzooka is just a handheld pneumatic spring loaded bug collection system that I decided to go out this morning with and see how many yellow jackets I could collect with it. And I was surprised. I did two trips, 10 or 15 minutes apart, and I ended up with 117 yellow jacket wasps. Now, once you get them into this little capsule, and I'll put a link in the video description to the full review of the Bugzooka, but once they're in this capsule, how do you get them out? What if you don't want to kill them? What if you just want to look at them? If you'll notice, there's another jar here, and that's the uh, Recap Mason jar, bug jar, that uh, I've also reviewed, and I'll put a link on that too. But uh, how do you get them out of this capsule and into that jar? so that you can see them. Oh, I had to flip this over really quick. If you look back, uh, the yellow jackets were actually opening the little swing doors at the top and getting out. What I did was I stuck them in the freezer and I put them there for nine minutes. That doesn't kill them. It just slows them all down. If you notice, they're still breathing and wasps, just like honeybees, breathe through their abdomen. And see, they're starting to wake up here. So I put them in there for nine minutes, took them out of the freezer, and then I shook them into, in this case, a Petri dish so we could really look at them. But you can put them in any kind of container or cage that you want to observe these wasps in. And if you look at the markings on their abdomens, we have a lot of different species of wasp in here. And this is a great way, if you're trying to teach a young uh, entomologist what the differences are in yellow jackets, you really can't do that while they're out flying around, so you have to collect them. So... They're waking up gradually and uh, moving around. And we have queens this time of year. A lot of the abdomens here, if you see the markings, especially the ones with the little dots on them, those are queens that would be starting out entirely new colonies next year. So by collecting them, you take them out of circulation. It's up to you what you're going to do with these wasps once you have them. But it's a great way to really look at them up close. You have the option. You could kill them or you can take them back out and turn them loose again. Now, even though they're landing on the landing boards of my honeybee hives, and they are trying to gain entry to get the resources from the bees, they're not very successful because the hive populations are so high and the guard bees are more than capable of repelling them. So I just took the bugzooka out, and every time one landed on the board, I just used that pneumatic device to suck them into that capsule. And then I brought them in, I decided I'd share it with you. So I hope you enjoy looking at them. And if you want to collect bugs yourself with something like the Bugzooka, uh, again, I'll put the link in the video description, but you can use it inside your house to get flies off your window, spiders off the ceiling, and of course, collect these uh, yellow jacket wasps. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you get out and take a closer look at some of the insects that are in your apiary this time of year.